If you're checking this video out, chances are you're planning to get yourself the Zoom H5 microphone for your recorder or SLR input device, or maybe you already have one and you wish to know more about it. In other case, we got 11 things you must know about the Zoom H5. Welcome to Forest Tech. As always, we bring you tech reviews, tips, and tutorials to help you live life smarter. So let's begin with the first one. H5 does not require external power source and it runs on a two AA batteries. That can give you around 13 hours of recording. It allows recording from two XLR input devices and you can adjust their voltages. H5 comes pre-installed with XY capsule. You can change these capsules depending on what you wish to achieve. From shotgun mic to mid-side and even by adding two more XLR microphones with its XLR capsule. It gives you a total of four XLR recording inputs and it can record up to four recording channels. You can live monitor your sound levels as you record by connecting your studio monitors via headphone jack. This really helps listening to how much noise is there in your background or how the overall voice sounds, so you can adjust compression and voice recording levels. Being used as a field recorder and as a handheld recorder, the H5 can also be connected via micro USB cable to your computer. And as soon as you do that, you get to see the menu asking if it's a PC or a Mac and then you can record via your favorite audio softwares like Audition or Audacity. You can save battery by selecting bus powered and use your computer's power instead of the batteries inside your recorder. This could be handy for musicians as it's got a built-in tuner for your musical instruments like guitar, bass and whatnot. You can record up to 48 kilohertz on 16 and 24 bits and you can record a backup track at minus 12 dB as well. In case something goes wrong in your actual recording like noise or crackle etc, you can always pull out a less louder version from the backup. There is a low pass filter for 80 to 237 hertz of frequencies that you can activate before recording on any of recorder's inputs. This will keep your audio clean and you won't have to apply any post audio filters. You also have a few compression filters which are applicable for voice and those can be applied to your instruments as well. If XLR is not your thing and you're comfortable with simple stereo recording, then a stereo cable can be plugged from your H5 directly to your camera's microphone's input. So you can have audio feed saved inside your camera as well as on your H5 recorder. Zoom H5 is a sensitive microphone when it comes to handling noise, random shakes or changing grips now and then. Especially if you have it connected to a boom pole, you've got to be careful. There is no XLR locking mechanisms. Considering XLR cables are not as light as the studio cables, there are chances of the cable being unplugged if not taken care of. So that's it for the Zoom H5, the 11 most important things that I thought worth sharing, considering if you have one or you're planning to get one. Subscribe and like the channel if you guys enjoyed the video and do let me know about your feedback in the comments section. I'll be seeing you soon with another video. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.